My name is Ernesto Sanchez. I'm an artist making spiritually infused, mystically influenced, heart-based art here in Marin County. My childhood was very interesting. My dad is from Mexico and my mom is from East LA. When I was around 10 years old, we moved into a suburb that would be considered an Anglo suburb. Inside my parents' house was very uh, Mexican food and there was a house altar and, and many things that were ethnically different than outside. My friends told me a couple of years after we were hanging out together, they said, you know, Ernesto, when you first walked on campus, we were really afraid of you. There was a first uh, brown-skinned or Mexican person on campus, and we wanted to give you a lot of space because we didn't want to get in a fight with you. It was interesting. It was a revelation. Actually, that was a real revelation for me to realize the cultural difference, which I really wasn't aware of as a child. I didn't really start out as an artist. I was a performer working on stage. I was doing street theater. I was interested in mime, so I studied mime movement. But in one of my fellowships that sent me to Japan, it was the Japan-US Friendship Commission. Living in Kyoto, which I could live wherever I wanted, I settled on Kyoto, which is a small town. It wasn't bombed during World War II, and it was an incredibly culturally rich city. And I witnessed a lot of ceremonies there at these temples, both Buddhist and Shinto shrines, that really moved me. And that awareness, that shift of awareness, made me realize that performing wasn't the true calling of mask work. Actually, it was ceremonies and rituals. So I shifted out of a performing artist into a visual artist. One is the one that opened up the uh, series, The Spirits of the Underworld. This particular piece is the torso of a woman. And when I was making her, I had this idea to put these rusty nails as a hairpiece. It looked great, but then I was looking at the piece and the piece is saying to me, literally saying to me, you're not finished. It's very interesting for a piece to speak like that. And so suddenly the nails appeared around the face, around the perimeter of the face, and then the nails came around the eye. And suddenly when I stood back, she said, you're done. It was that point that we could start having a dialogue so I can investigate her heart and spirit. Who is this person that has appeared? And when I looked at her, she was obviously from the underworld and it opened up this concept. She became the gateway into the series that I've been working on for the last year and a half called Spirits of the Underworld. I think the mystery of life for me is the big question. Who are we? How do we get here? And where are we going? And what happens when we do go in the afterlife? Those questions can never be answered per se, especially the last one, where do we go? And for me, that is the mystery. What is, what is it that we're doing here? Through the process of losing vision, I got in touch with the sense of how we perceive. I have found this to be who I am now. This sense of this loss of vision has come through my work. My depth of perception is gone, and so I've had to learn how to work a new way. Some of my pieces you can see specifically relate to the eye, and others you just look at them and see they relate to something that is beyond, something that is manifested from the spirit realms or the spirit world. We always have the power of transformation. We have the power within us to change. And can we embrace that? And can we discover what it is within us that we want to, to be?